Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at uh, QuakePrediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.36 in the evening on Sunday, March 28th, 2021. We have uh, about, I think there's three earthquake warnings out right now. We'll go to, uh, first of all, we'll go to the Japan forecast. And you can see here near Shizuoka, uh, this warning remains for the 29th into the 30th. And right now, I believe it is uh, about one, oh, it's in the morning on the 29th, the 29th in the morning right now. So this is in effect this warning. A uh, 6.0 earthquake is possible south of Tokyo, most likely southwest of Tokyo near Shizuoka during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And you can see this, uh, forecast for the 30th and 31st, that uh, risk still remains uh, near Shizuoka and uh, southwest of Tokyo, right here. So again, a uh, 6.0 earthquake is possible south of Shizuoka, southeast of Nagoya and east of Osaka here in this area, southwest of Tokyo during the next uh, 36 hours. We have uh, two other earthquake warnings, uh, very significant warnings out. One is uh, for California, one is for Alaska. Let's look at the California first here. And during the next about 12 hours, this uh, risk still remains down here in the in the south near Los Angeles where 4.0 to 4.5 is possible during the next uh, 8 to 12 hours. And then the risk shifts to the north. You can see it in this forecast model here. And this other one right here uh, from San Francisco Bay up to Eureka, including Ukiah and Willits, Santa Rosa, down to even as far as Salinas, most likely in the San Francisco Bay, up to Northwest California. A possible 6.0 earthquake is possible in the next, uh, well, the 29th and 30th, so the next 48 hours or so. And the other warning we have is for the uh, Alaska area. And we could get a 6.0 is possible. Uh, most likely spot is near Valdez, which is just east of Anchorage here. That's where the hot spot is, but it could occur in any of this uh, area west of Anchorage or east of Anchorage near Valdez or even farther uh, east. So that's during the next uh, 48 hours or so. A 6.0 earthquake is possible near Anchorage and Valdez during the next 48 hours. All right, let's take a look around the world a little bit. Uh, let's go to uh, Chile. And 28th, and here we go right here, the 28th and the 29th. This risk is building near La Serena. And the 29th to the 30th, we could get a 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake in the area around La Serena, which is northwest of Santiago, Chile. And the risk moves after that. So the 29th to the 30th of March, we could get a 5.5 or so earthquake near La Serena. And in Italy, Risk is uh, mostly in the south now, moderately high risk in the south, 29th to the 30th. And the 30th to the 31st, uh, kind of near, uh, moderate risk near uh, Sicily. All right. And then in uh, the Philippines, the 28th, actually it's the 29th right now in the Philippines. So we're looking at possible 5.5 east of Manila during the next 24 hours or so. And then the risk dissipates after that. So 5.0 to 5.5 is possible east of Manila during the next uh, 24 hours. And near Greece, Greece earthquake forecast, there's this uh, high risk here in, uh, north and northeast of Albania, northwest of Greece. And then the 29th and 30th, the risk shifts to uh, southeast Greece, 
near Crete and the island of Rhodes. Same thing with this forecast model here as well. Central America, right now the risk is near uh, Eastern Guatemala, Western Honduras and El Salvador. And I believe we just got an earthquake down there today, a little while ago. <clears throat> and here it is, uh, 4.6. And that was in Eastern Guatemala and Western El Salvador, right about there in the 85% risk area. Then the risk uh, kind of builds here even more on the 29th in Honduras and Northern uh, El Salvador. And the 29th to 30th, again, still near Honduras. And the 30th to the 31st uh, around uh, Panama and Eastern Costa Rica. This is an interesting forecast in, uh, well, we're gonna go first, we're gonna go to Indonesia and we'll go to Taiwan. So Indonesia, <clears throat> the risk right now is uh, mostly, you can see it's kind of pushed into here to Southern Sumatra. And then it kind of uh, shifts away just to a moderate risk across the area there. But right now, there's a quite a high risk in southern, off the coast here in uh, southern Sumatra. And I believe, yep, we just got an earthquake in that area uh, down near uh, southern Sumatra. There it is there just off, co off the coast, 5.0, right about in this area right here. And then on the 30th to the 31st, the risk is more in central Sumatra and coming on shore there. So we could get a 4.5 to 5.0 in that area. All right, uh, in Taiwan, there's a quite a high risk here north east of Taiwan and west of Okinawa, uh, west of the, actually in the Ryukyu, Ryukyu Islands. And this could produce, it's a large area, this could produce a 6.0 earthquake on the 30th to the 31st in the Ryukyu Islands or just west of the Ryukyu Islands and northeast of Taiwan. Look for that on the 30th to the 31st. And in the state of Washington, Oregon and Idaho. Right now the risk is high out in the Western portion of the state, there, Washington, up near Vancouver right now. And then on the 28th to the 29th, the risk is in South Central Oregon on the 28th to the 29th. 29th to the 30th, again, that area in Northern California and South Central uh, Oregon on the 29th to the 30th. And let's see, Turkey and Cyprus. Right now the risk is in over Iraq actually, in Eastern Iraq. And on the 30th to the 31st, the same area, Northeast Iraq and Southeast Turkey. So either Southeast Turkey on, on both of these forecasts through the 31st is uh, Northern and Eastern Iraq or Southeast Turkey is where the highest risk is during the next uh, 48 hours. And in the Caribbean, and here we are right here, the 20th to the 29th, uh, still this uh, high risk in uh, Northeast Lesser Antilles. And again, on the 29th to the 30th, we could get another 5.0 to 5.5 in the Northeast uh, Lesser Antilles here near Guadalupe. And in New Zealand, this is an interesting forecast coming up here as well. Um, we're, it's the 29th right now there. So the risk is in the Northwest right now, but then look at this, so the 29th to the 30th, very high risk from Wellington down to Christchurch. So if you're in that area on the 29th to the 30th of March, be on alert for a significant earthquake, we could get a a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake in the area between Christchurch and Wellington. And so keep an eye on that uh, during the next uh, 48 hours or so if you live in Christchurch or Wellington for a significant earthquake in that area. All right, one more time, let's look at the uh, warnings. We have uh, a warning for the Northern 
California, between uh, San Francisco Bay and Eureka mostly, and Torino. Anywhere in this northern portion of California, a 6.0 earthquake is possible during the next uh, about 48 hours. And over in Japan, down near uh, Shizuoka, a 6.0 earthquake is possible in that area, southwest of Tokyo. And then in Alaska, Alaska, also very high risk near Valdez and east of Anchorage, anywhere, actually anywhere from just west of Anchorage to Valdez to uh, eastern portions of uh, Alaska here. Uh, centered around the Valdez though. And I, I believe they just got a, let me just check here. 3.7 in Valdez. So that looks like a four shock. So this was probably where it'll hit close to Valdez, but anywhere in Anchorage to Valdez, a 6.0 earthquake is possible during the next uh, 48 hours. All right, thank you very much for visiting and uh, stopping by today. Again, this is Quick Prediction Earthquake Forecast Center. We um, update the forecast every day around the world and uh, uh, we'd like to add some other countries, but uh, the workload is pretty heavy duty right now, but we're increasing our capacity of uh, working on different countries and we'll add more countries as we get more people around here. So thank you so much for following us here at QuakePrediction.com and the Earthquake Forecast Center. And if you're living in, in Japan down near Shizuoka or Anchorage, Alaska or Northern California, be on alert for significant earthquakes during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Thanks again and uh, have a great week coming up. Tomorrow's Monday. We'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Thank you very much. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much and have a good night. Thank you.